welcome back to my new video. So today in this video I will be talking about my experience I had this summer with a summer school. And yeah, that's pretty all. So uh, I went to Oxford, which is a city in England and it's also kind of called the place of study because it is the home of the University of Oxford and its population is really really small it's like it's only 151,584 people like according to 2020 so I went to a summer school summer school Oxford Royal Academy as I said I can't say like where it is located itself because it's located in different colleges that Oxford University has I uh, personally lived in Joel Walk. It is not a university. It is not a place where people study. It is only an accommodation. But we also had classes there for us, for Film Academy, because they had a beautiful studio, a beautiful black studio. It's gonna be somewhere here. So this is what I can tell about Oxford Real, which is a summer school where people have <laughs> So today with me, I have Bianca with Elena, with Bianca, or with Elena, and with Austria. I would like you to tell about uh, some things about yourself. What's your name? Where do you come from? And what's your age? And what do you do here? Okay, um, so my name is Bianca Le Moustier. I live in uh, Paris. I come from I come from Italy and uh, France. 14 and I I uh, do a film academy. My name's Elena, I just turned 13 and I'm from Australia. Hi, I'm Bianca, I am just turned uh, 14 and I'm from Italy. I'm 14 and I'm from Thailand. I just told my name. I am from Turkey and I'm 13 years old. From where did you know about Oxford Royal? Uh, I did it like two years ago before COVID and uh, I wanted to redo it for the, the 2020-2021 but I couldn't because of COVID so uh, my mom just uh, signed me in this year. Uh, well my mom knows someone who is like who kind of works in the education department they were like oh this program looks awesome you know your kid would totally love it so yeah and I picked film academy because film academy is awesome. My mom uh knows this guy that actually went here when he was i think 17 or 18 and he had uh, an amazing experience so he recommended it to my mom that i <laughs> would go here well basically i didn't really know where i was coming but my mom kind of like forced me into it so she was like you're going to boarding school in <laughs> oxford this summer and i was like yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> my teacher told me okay and um, what do you like about it and what do you not like about it? Um, I don't like the curfew. <laughs> and I don't like the forced activities. Okay. Except yesterday. Yesterday was fun. Okay. Um, <laughs> and, and what do you like? Let's do positive now. I really like uh, the lonely bedrooms. <laughs> lonely bedrooms, okay. Because you don't have to mess with everyone's... Everyone's mess. Okay, everyone's <laughs> mess. <laughs> and um, I like um, like the space we have and the activities we do. Like cake decorating is kind of cool. The safari was great. Um, punting? Punting was good. Punting was good. <laughs> punting was really good. Yeah. A silent disco on my own. Oh, so cool. it was so cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's well. it. <laughs> um, I love you know everything's amazing and getting to meet people from different cultures and different ages and the excursions you know it's just really fun okay anything bad the food tastes like airplane food <laughs> <laughs> you don't like airplane food no i don't like airplane food okay no. you don't like airplane food no. so uh what i like about this program that i've met a lot of people uh from all around the world that have different culture and ethnicities and they're all just so friendly and kind and also i love the course it's just so fun i don't really like the schedule because i need to wake up really early but yeah after a few days i just get to know yes. how to wake up early <laughs> i need to adapt okay 
Also, Thank the food you. isn't that good, but it's not that bad. It's excellent. Yeah, you can live. You can live. With you it. can live. Um, I I like the people here. I think I was kind of scared at first about the people that I would meet, but like, turns out that everyone here is like really friendly, and I got along with people really easily. But um, <laughs> something I don't like is probably the food here and kind of like the. Some of the programs aren't fit for everyone. I don't like that in Creative Arts we are walking everywhere, like we are eating the dinner uh, and the meals in a different place. We are having the lessons in a different place and we are staying in a different place, so I need to walk a lot and I don't want to walk. <laughs> and um, why did you like kind of, you got to know it? Did you ever come here before this time? No, no, I've just, I've always loved the, like, the art of film and the acting and the directing and the makeup and the costumes and I'm like, make my own movie? Mm, perfect! Um, I chose Film Academy because I always wanted to be in a film. No, I always wanted, like, to, to work in, like, the film industry. I know it's, like, very risky and stuff, but I always wanted to do it and, um, uh, that's it. I decided to uh, go to the film academy course because I've always been interested in the cinematic culture and cinematic world and just making a film, my film, it was like, fantastic, an okay. amazing idea. Creative Arts. Creative Arts. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. So uh, today I'm with Richard and I'll have a few questions for you. So first question, uh, where do you come from? And what do you do here? Okay, uh, I come from the Midlands, uh, a place near uh, Coventry and Leicester called Hinckley, and uh, that's where I'm based, but I'm, yeah, I'm from the Midlands, and I'm teaching Film Academy here mm -hmm. with you fantastic students. Thank you. Uh, why did you, did you choose to do it here? Did you get to know Oxford somehow, somewhere? I don't know. Well, it was through a friend of mine, Simon Cox, got a name check, Simon, so thank you for him. Uh, he he used to teach here, and then he was one year he couldn't do it because he's making a feature film, mm -hmm. so he was busy doing that, and he asked me to step in, and I've done uh, three. This is my third time teaching at uh, Oxford Royal. Do you have any advice for young people? Who? Advice for young people. Yeah, in, who would in, like to study in film academy? In film academy, yeah. Uh, if you're interested in making films, uh, YouTube. Uh, if you're watching lots of videos and you think, oh, I want to have a go with that, uh, come to Film Academy because we've got all the kit. Uh, we've got, we teach you how to go from script to screen. So go through a script, uh, shoot it, make it, create it, then edit it, all within two weeks. Okay? And you guys have just done that. We're on the final day. So. Yeah. So generally we want you to make one film, but um, some teams finish before others, so, uh, and then you get to make another film uh, of your own choosing. So, uh, but yeah, subscribe to this YouTube channel. All right, thank you. Bye. In Oxford Royal Academy, I had a routine, which was that I woke up or at six or at 6.30, and we went to breakfast, which was in Balliol, which is also part of the Oxford University. Then we went to class. In a day, we had or two or three classes, which were all one and a half hours. Then we went to lunch, same in Balliol, where we could have met our friends from creative arts or other courses. After lunch, we could go to some activities such as punting or cake decorating or a lot of other things, or we just had class. Also, we could have gone to Oxford and just to discover itself, which was also really, really nice. Then we went to dinner to the same Belial. And then we had some parties or other activities like this. After the last party, we finished without any shoes. And we also had some exceptions, such as the last day. We went in a taxi to a restaurant, which was really, really nice. And we also, on the Saturday or Sunday, we went to Safari, which was also really, really nice. And we just sang songs in the bus with my friend, Bianca. Welcome back. And I would like to say a big, big thank you to you all who watched the video till the end. About my whole 
think in Oxford Royal Academy. I think that by the video you saw that I loved it. It was amazing. The birthday, they gave me a birthday cake for my birthday. Yes, my birthday is the 7th of July. And it was just amazing. I met so much new friends. And the course was really, really fun. We made a film at the end. You just finished writing a new play. Really? Did you say Celine? Yes. Where is she, brother? We had the film productive We even made two films. It was just amazing. And the people there are really, really, really kind. I would, I, I just wanted to say that. I thought I was really, really nervous when I came there and I was like, I don't know what kind of people will they be, oh, whatever. But then they all ended up so nice. Bonjour. <laughs> what? You can say bonjour. bonjour. Comment vas-tu? Come, what? <laughs> Comment vas-tu? Come. Not come over you. So yeah, and hi guys. Hi. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm also wearing the t-shirt that everybody signed at the end. It's my favorite t-shirt at that point right now because everybody signed it and they said how cute I am. <laughs> and I really like you guys, you know? So um, yeah, I would like to say if you have a chance to go there, you should really go there. It's fun. The accommodation where we lived was great. I had a solo room with bathroom. It depends also on the college, but I I would just say that I loved it and it was a magic, a magnificent experience. I just loved it. I can repeat 10 times. I just loved it. I still love it and I'm gonna go there next year. We graduated. We had a whole graduation at the end, which was wonderful. I graduated with an A plus, 90. I got 90% out of 100. You're welcome. So yeah, I just really recommend it for everybody. So yes. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. And tell me if you went there. In case you did, maybe I knew you. Bye! I'm trying to be serious. That's <laughs> why I'm also trying to be serious. Okay! I don't know. Uh, Hello. 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 My. This is Sophia tap dancing. Yes, definitely my love. Behind the scenes of the yeah. pill. Pill number one, scene six, take three. Happy birthday, birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sophia. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, do it. You guys.